Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the third episode of Under the Fallen Maple, a mouse guard role-playing game. I'm Eric, your game master, and with us are our three lovable mice slash people. How are we doing today, guys? Good. Doing really good. Yeah, except Excellent. For, I forgot it was Thursday, but that's fine. That's fine. You got <laughs> you reached platinum today. So it all worked you get out. A pass. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Cool. So we're playing a game called Mouse Guard, and with everything with Mouse Guard, it begins with a prologue, which is the previously on uh, part. And I believe Elf, you did it last. No, 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 I didn't. No. but I want to do it this time because yeah. I get to clear a condition, right? So Correct. I definitely yeah. 100 percent yeah. want to do it. Yeah, you have cool. a lot of conditions. Today, I am so. kind of <laughs> fucked up. Yes. Um, so if this was the anime, the theme song is played. We've had the starting animations and stuff, and then it goes previously. And, and uh, I gotta, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I gotta do it in Ash voice because it's like you know you get the voiceover from one of the characters. Yeah, but... exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Previously on Mouse Guard. We returned to the temple where my master was uh, sick and dying and attended her funeral after her brother had spoken to her as her final wish. Um, and we're informed that our rival dojo, the to, to I can't remember their name, the rival dojo, the <laughs> something, something that starts with T, it's irrelevant now, we've defeated them, um, uh, you know, uh, came to attack us. The Tirada, um, but okay. The Tirada, yes. <laughs> Um, Rosie and Waylon were very brave and defended the temple from uh, many attackers while I faced off against their leader, uh, my rival, Quinn. Um, what else? Uh, after the fight, I had a very serious conversation with Rosie about my violent behavior and why it's just easier to be violent. I think that's pretty much the, as a succinct to recap that. That's no, good. Yuki, Yuki murdered all of the. Oh survivors. yeah, and Yuki killed all the prisoners. Yeah. <laughs> our friend, our our lovable Yuki, just yes. murdered everyone. <laughs> Turns out, uh, Yuki's a, a murderous person. Yes, they did not win with honor. Was the result of that? Mm -hmm. Great, that was a fantastic recap. Thank you so much, Elf. So, as part of the game, you get a free Why? recovery. Why? Thanks, Eric. <laughs> yeah. So you can either do a free recovery or re uh, regain a point of one of your spent nature, um, returning your nature up. But you probably want to remove angry. Screw that. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, remember. I'm, yep. Condition I'm, order. Um, condition order matters. So I got it, goes, it. I got it. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Chats is agreeing chats in tears right now with a recap of, of oh, that it was amazing emotional. Yeah. Oh, it was an emotional moment for me it was very it was very good thank you cool so we are going into the gm turn and part of what's going in the gm uh the gm turn if i can use my words correctly is that we are also flash forwarding a little bit in time so previously it was late spring or like early mid spring and now we're moving into the summer and uh our conditions stay so you're no longer angry. Let me remove angry from the list here. So everyone's still tired and injured. And also I'll give you a little bit of what's going on right now. And then I'm almost gonna, I'm gonna have you guys describe why you're still tired or why you're still injured and what happened, okay? So um, we're getting into cherry lands for today. In Ooh. fact, we're returning to the home of Rosie. We're returning to Hanamura. My house. We are, um, we're excited You because you are well aware that it's around this time of the year they hold the annual steam bun eating festival where oh, it's God. all you can eat steam buns my oh, mom is so busy oh, for like yeah hold on making those steam buns right yep. right so that's a big deal so mm -hmm. we're so excited to go there however it's also been ridiculously hot and it's been just really annoying getting there it's just been you know uh you guys have been sweating i don't even know do my sweat my i don't sweat, know right? <laughs> yeah and it's and it's the more you get into cherry lands, especially getting closer to Hanamura, the more you realize it's kind of a drought. Um, oh, you you no. see, uh, you know, the the stream. I believe that Hanamura has a, probably a really beautiful stream going through it, and it's barely a trickle now. However, Hanamura is also famous for a great pond uh, near a temple. Um, and this great pond is kind of near the uh, center square along with the temple. And, um, well, that pond's probably intact. So... But that's that's all we get so far. So this is probably between from where we had the dojo fight to to you guys being excited about this bake off or this all you can eat uh, steam bun festival. And so between that time, you guys are still managed today to be tired and 
and one of you to be injured. So I'd like to hear from you guys how, how that came about. That doesn't make any sense. No, you're totally still, you could be injured. You fought someone else in the meantime or, or something else, or you tripped, you know, doing something, you know. I'm tired because so, I've been helping my mom make steamed buns for like fucking ever. Just, mm. I'm exhausted. So are we, are, am I correct in assuming we're keeping our conditions on Eric? Um, yes. Yeah. The conditions yeah. are being kept. I'm just want you to explain why forward in time, you still have these conditions. Um, fictionally. Yeah. Fictionally. I mean, I mean, fictionally, Ash just gets in fights all the time, so it, it really... Like, her first answer for any trouble is like, alright, let's sword fight, and that'll decide who gets to do whatever, you know? Like, how dare you take my last steam bun? Sword fight! You know, like, yeah. that's... <laughs> that's what Ash... So, being Perfect. injured yeah. is pretty natural. Yeah. So, are we at the festival yet? Or is um, it, has it begun? Or are we just prepping sort of still, or...? What's... I think I think we're probably prepping for the festival right now. Okay. Well, I mean, just in insofar as I'm tired still, mm -hmm. um, previously it was, you know, for more like uh, adventure reasons. Um, but at this point, I've just been like Rosie has been, you know, helping make steam buns, but I've just been stealing the ingredients and like bites here and there at every possible opportunity god damn it of course you've been it's just like a hole missing inside of one it's just empty yeah <laughs> yeah there's like it's pretty obvious if you look closely that like someone has been uh working on them how <laughs> dare sampling the goods so you're like t you're like food baby tired yeah definitely <laughs> i'm just like i can't help myself and now i'm just you know comatose how dare Boy, well, perhaps you guys are waiting outside um, in the shade when you start feeling what feels to be like an earthquake. Thump. 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 It's like cries, Park. Uh, cries, uh, um, cry, a cry out from the uh, edges of town. Shade uh, starts coming over the town as a colossal snapping turtle makes its way to the pond in the middle of Hanamura and sits down in it. It crushes some of the, the houses in the way and then just sits there and basks in one of the few remaining pools of water in this town. Uh, and that's where we write our goals. Uh, 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 yeah. I think I want, my goal... This is, I think my goal has to be slay the dragon. <laughs> to give you, yeah, yeah. To give you guys an idea um, of the immensity of this creature. <laughs> I mean, have you? Do we all know what the size of like an alligator snapping turtle compared to a mouse is? Um, roughly, really, really like, big. Yeah, like this is like a great worm dragon. It is an easy way of, of thinking about it in terms of it, size. Is that? Can we talk way? to it? You can try. That's certainly a possibility. But um, before we get into how do we solve the problem, let's talk about what our goals are for today, right? Mm. And this is also a great time to review, say who we are, what our beliefs are, and then what our goal is going to be today, right? So whenever, okay. whoever has the first person do it, just uh, chime in. Okay. So my belief is that life's too short to take seriously, um, which is sort of like something that conflicts with my sort of newfound goal which is to prove to my friends that they can trust me to lead um because if if uh you recall uh or for those who haven't seen before i sort of fell into a position of kind of leadership among the group but that's not really my like thing yeah but i'm trying to own it and uh my instinct has traditionally been and i think this like predates my uh promotion or whatever happened was to just sort of consult Ash whenever trouble arises. Yeah. Um, and so that's a sort of carryover instinct from like back then. And oh. I'm thinking it's not long for this world because mm. I'm starting to see the like inevitable conflict of, uh, you know, consulting Ash. Uh, consulting Ash trying, always leads to violence. Yeah. <laughs> trying to lead well. I am. Um... I think probably like it totally makes sense that in that regard, like maybe we thought Ash was gonna get the promotion, like when um, when things mm -hmm. happened, and then yeah, she... like something weird just like 
Yeah. Felt it fell to me for yeah. some weird reason. So maybe we'll find out. Yeah. So, um, what are our so Ash? What's what is your belief and goals today? Uh, so my belief is that the best solution is found at the blade of my sword, and uh, as a goal to go with that, uh, slay the dragon. Um, there's a big snapping turtle, and the the best solution is found at the blade of my sword. And if I kill <laughs> if I kill a snapping turtle with leaf cutter, there will be songs and stories about me for generations to come, mind you. Yes. Um, interesting. Oh, did you mention leaf cutter in the in the recap? I didn't. I should have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have a legendary sword. Yeah, you have a legendary sword. From my master. So, um, and my instinct is to always throw my sword at the first sign of danger. My sword's in my hand already, by the way. Of course. (laughs) I love love that idea. Okay. Great. Um, Thank you. My mouse's name is Rosie, and she's from here. This is her home. Um, my belief is no mouse left behind. Um, basically just like trying to make sure that everyone is like included and also make sure that like nobody's just like given up on in terms of like saving a day or whatever um my instinct is if there's work to be done always offer help um and i think that my goal is um i really want to see um both of my companions um succeed in their goals i want to see um elf get the uh recognition sorry not elf ash get the recognition they desire and i also want to see wayland become a better leader um so i'm I'm, my goal is the helping goal i think that goes well with rosie's belief and instinct yes might be a little harder to do, but I'm I'm about it. It's fine. Yeah, no, that's cool. Great, excellent. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And Waylon, you already gave us our yours, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Can you just do me one quick favor? Can you remind me who uh, your enemy is, uh, Ayumi? Yes, Ayumi. Who is Ayumi? I, yeah, I, who are they? I haven't thought about that. Um, I think okay. Ayumi it was like um, a rival of mine in like Mouse High School. <laughs> um, yeah. I want to play Mouse High School. Shoot. <laughs> Mouse <monster. laughs> Eric's like, oh, I've got a great idea for a new. Um, yeah, uh, it would like a social rival of some sort. Um, someone mm-hmm. who just like you know was kind of sabotaging my. Um, I don't know. Just like a bully, okay. But then turned out to be like real evil when we became adults. <laughs> okay, you that's know fair. what I'm saying? Yeah. So let me let me put, do a quick little <laughs> sketch of the town. Sorry, that's not specific at all. No, that's that's perfectly fine. So we have in the middle of town, a giant river or a giant lake, and inside that lake is a huge ass fucking turtle. <laughs> um. I imagine the river like bisects the uh the lake and then there's like bridges on either side of it. Um so we have a we have your bakery that's mm-hmm. near here. Oh, did it get smushed? I hope it didn't get smushed. No, it's not smushed yet, but it's certainly it's certainly at risk. You can see that the the for all intents and purposes, I'm going to call it the dragon. Mm-hmm. The dragon has is definitely leaning more towards the bakery. Like the heat and smells from the bakery are are attracting it to its its basking in the water. Um, but then we also on the other side we have the temple. Um, next to your bakery is the brewery. Yeah. I mean, you gotta have you gotta have beer and and, and bread, right? Bread, yeah, and yep. beer and pretzels. <laughs> there's All a the... great festival brewing here right now. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah and there's getting... tons and tons of like festival decorations. So I imagine a lot of paper banners, streams crossing over the different streets and such like that. Um, like what do you call it? Like the charms dangling, hanging down uh, like red and gold um, from from various branches and and just kind of everywhere. Uh, it's, but obviously the festival. A lot of people are in town for the festival that wouldn't be here normally. And so everyone's kind of cowering away 
uh, to the to the far ports of town, um, screaming about what to do. Um, I think that like before we heard the snapping turtle come up, um, probably Waylon and I. I don't know about what Ash would be doing, but since Waylon was hanging around trying to sneak like bits of pork bun, um, we were like sitting down and like taking a break or whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, wiping our foreheads of sweat. Waylon's acting like he's been working really hard or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and um, then uh, obviously um, hear the snapping turtle. And my first instinct would be to like try and um, make sure people get out of the way. Like, is it like, did it crush any buildings? Like, do we need to like go and save people? Like, I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, so so yeah. So this is so this is what happened so far. It has crushed some of the buildings on the outskirts of town. So it has come um pretty much I imagine just like this way from wherever the uh from wherever the the water runoff is, like mm-hmm. river, the down river has just come up river to a, a nice new pond, a nice new pool to rest in. And unfortunately that pool is in the center of Mouse Town. Um and is the I think and it's almost I think you hear people cursing the drought, saying that the the drought is a curse. Um, after the emperor was killed, that the rain has never returned, um, just right. And then this is this is what we get, um, you know, our humble lot without our divine protector. Um, so a lot of lot of like woe and wailing. Uh, no one in particular needs to get helped right now, but. Um, if you guys do do something, the uh, the dragon is absolutely going to be going for the brewery and going to be trying to go sniff around um, and, and basically going to destroy it if we don't do something. Um, mm. Yeah, I guess I would like get my mom and be like, mom, Kika. mom, Kiki, um, you, you have to you have to leave. Like, you have to get out. Like there's a d- giant snapping turtle yeah. and it's dangerous like don't worry about the pork buns like just turn like damp the oven and and get out we can take care of that later um me and my friends uh, it is it is at this point that ash like busts into the bakery like have you seen what the hell is going on out there <laughs> like yeah it's ridiculous we have to get these people to safety like no. and then we can figure out what to do with this giant snapping turtle and just looking to Rosie's mom, I'm like, but you could you could worry about or just grab a few of the pork buns, and then we should get out of here right away. Wait, yeah. I... <laughs> mom, yeah. just like go take dad, take uh, uh, who's my Sakura? Is that her name? Yeah, yeah, take Your Sakura. Friend? Take yeah, she's she's studying at the bakery. Take dad and like get out of here like get to safety like um do you have a like um is there like a dojo here like a guard force or is this more like not like no this is this is a peaceful quite okay. little town right it's if a religious like, town at the temple if there's a guard they're just like you know partying too yeah <laughs> well i think i think unfortunately yeah the, the whoever first tried to yeah no no the first thing that obviously happened is the the town guard of the town saw the thing come in drop their spears and ran <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, like a good mouse would mm-hmm. yeah of course scared and stuff but we're the um, we're the maple guard so Correct. Um, yeah, so I would try and get my mom and dad and, um, uh, Sakura to, to safety and, um, then like meet up with Waylon and Ash and be like, what are we going to do? This thing is massive. Like we don't have any, there's no, there's no do- dojo full of m- mice trained here to help. It's just us. <laughs> are we, are we just kind of like standing outside the bakery looking up at this like giant turtle? Yeah. yeah. So like, this is like the first shot or of like the comic book or of this, the show it's like, it's like you guys are three standing outside the bakery. The town is deserted. And in front of you is this looming, uh, gigantic snapping turtle. So, so I turn, it doesn't look my... malicious other than, um, you I know, just, just the, just the grumple, angry, grumpy face of all snapping turtles, right? They just have a, uh, you know, I'm a, not a malevolent, but uh, what's the word? Uh, misanthropic demeanor, but this is mouseanthropic demeanor. You know what I mean? There's like, there's like, you know what I mean? Like they just have yeah. that thing to it. So and, uh, in mouse guard, other animals can like talk too, right? So uh, but- yes, yeah, you totally could try to talk to it. That requires a lore mouse role. Oh, lore mouse is the skill assume... for communicating to other creatures. 
Uh, I'm going to assume the pork bun thing was not the right word. No, no, your your <laughs> your parents your parents were like, oh my god, but our but our bakery, right? Like this is our family bakery. It's been here forever. Well, we'll protect it. You have to get out. Like if you're dead, that's not. Worth oh, but, but okay. Well, make sure make sure that last batch gets done and gets out of there in precisely five minutes. As you're like you, pushing her through the out the door, you, right? No, mom. Jeez. <laughs> no, jeez, mom. Take, just how so you so take I, pride in being a mouse guard, they take pride in their steam buns. Okay. Wait, it's lore master? Lore mouse. Lore mouse is like the study of other um, creatures. Oh. Hunter could doesn't tell you um, necessarily how to speak to them, but it tells you like their traits, right? It tells oh. you what their nature. You know how you have escaping, climbing, etc. You know mm -hmm. what a turtle's is with a good hunter role. Yeah, because I don't have lore master at all, or yeah. lore mouse, or whatever. Yeah. By the way, there's not a cloud in the sky. The sun's beating down on everything, right? It's, it's just hot. it's a hot day. Can I can I just like turn to Ash and be like, okay, I think I know probably what you're thinking, but uh, just just to be sure, what's your gut call on this? You can see like her hand tightening around the 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 hilt of the already drawn leaf cutter <laughs> right now in like a and and as soon as you say it, it like snaps her out of staring at the turtle, and she goes, um, well. I would say, like, you know, hold my sword out in front of me. Mm -hmm. But also, there are only three of us. And while I think we could do it, certainly. Especially me. <laughs> um, could be hard. Yeah. What do you Yeah. Think? Yeah, I definitely think so. I definitely think it'll be pretty hard. That That's a big thing. Um yeah so just hear me out i think we need to try to solve this maybe without the sword first um rosie is that kind of where you landed as well um the only path to victory is not at the root of a sword i have a feeling that you could probably clamber on that thing's back and it would never notice you no matter how many times you stabbed it and i like look out and i'm just like kind of like eh, it has a big it's a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so does does anyone know anything about these big big fellas? Um I could see if I know anything about them. This just for the record, this creature is so large that you literally, by the rules as written, cannot fight it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes right. perfect sense. I mean, it's because of order of might. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's actually too big for a mouse to kill. You could mm -hmm. possibly maybe drive it away and like those things are on the table, but like physically fighting it like you would another mouse is strictly off the table. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it give us riddles to solve? <laughs> <laughs> ah. should, no. may, okay. Maybe we should see if it's c capable of communicating. Okay, um, I don't have lore master, so I can't. I remember, you can uh, always because just because you don't have a skill doesn't mean that you're out of luck. You can wait, either. Did we determine lore, ma lore, lore mouse? Lore master is something different than lore mouse, or no? Lore no mouse. it's lore mouse. If I misspoke okay. and said lore master, it's lore mouse. I, I have know. two. I have two in lore mouse actually. Oh, do have, it! Yeah. Hey, Wayland. <laughs> so yeah. you're gonna be a leader. Look at you. Look at so you. I'm like, all right, let's uh, talk to it from. A safe distance. You can speak snapping turtle? Well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, getting around to its face is probably the first step. I so guess you're, you're going to have to interject yourself in front of the snapping turtle that's <sighs> like slowly putting its head around, kind of like breathing in the air around the... Um, the baker or the, the brewery next and door. I, and, I, and I like put my hand out to the other two and I go like, Get get ready to talk to it. If you can talk to it, I'll, I'll get its attention. Okay. Don't yeah. die. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> you think this thing could kill me? It's not even possible. And <laughs> like walk over um, towards where the head of the the turtle is. Um, go around it. Take a wide berth around it so it doesn't like accidentally hit me with like a leg or something. Mm -hmm. Um. So um, remember, you guys, you could help with the relevant helper skills for this mm -hmm. if you have them. Let me see what the relevant um, helper. Who's rolling? Am I 
Yo, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it sounds like you're the one stepping forward being I like, thought maybe I Ash was doing something first. Before no, the... I, I mean, I narratively. I maybe, her. But... Okay. All right. I'm I'm trying to rack my brain for anything that I remember about snapping turtles in order to help you um, with this role. And I am just trying to make sure it doesn't eat you. Yeah. Relevant helpers are lore mouse, our hunter and scientist. So if mm -hmm. you have those skills and can figure out how they can help you, you're in you're in good shape. I have hunter as well. I like that mice can be scientists. That's <laughs> this is a good game. In a, in another in another world, in another land of mouse guard, I played a mouse who was an apiarist. Like she was a beekeeper. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's awesome. A mouse who was a beekeeper, that's cute. Because bees like it's such a great image because bees are like they're it's like, not like dogs. keeping it's yeah like keeping it's like dogs. keeping giant flying dogs yeah. <laughs> anyway sorry that was an interjection but uh yeah okay. turtle lore mouse yeah. Go. so let's let's do the lore mouse here so this it's an yeah. obstacle for test okay so um you know as always well okay you went ahead and rolled i was asking if you want to do some traits on that kind of shit but apparently you already got <laughs> stuff in the Juice bag Two sixes, you can maybe do, you want do it? it. Yeah, so you have to. You roll two sixes, Explode and you have it. you have two. You have three fate points to spend. Fate, you can spend a fate point to what's called luck, uh, luck your roll, which means you um, spend a fate point and you can re-roll those sixes, and they explode. Mm -hmm. So if you roll more sixes, as always. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh god! Oh, no, Sunday. not close. Do you have a wise? That's relevant. Uh. No. <laughs> um, Pathwise, is that applicable here? You'd have to say. No. Well, here's, okay. So, let's. I think we get a conditional success here. Because here's what happens. You're trying to get his attention, right? So we see Waylon trying to like frantically Mm -hmm. uh, crawl to the to this uh, snapping turtle. Uh, the snapping turtle is like ignoring you until it finally lands and crushes the brewery and just destroys it, as it, it. like as it just rests and says, "Ah, that's the that's the right spot. Mm. That's that's good." And I guess there's a little bit of shade over that building. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, yeah. So I make like a little like squeaky like oh no like that's the oh not the brewery kind of noise but I'm like, like oh no go ahead <laughs> no no it's it's like you can't really do anything <laughs> you know it's a giant yeah turtle. yeah and so it's finally there it's like oh that's a good spot you can talk to I'm it like you did you do not fit so you should not have sit <laughs> And I, I like bang turtle. on my drum, yeah. which I have, by the way, yeah. to get its attention. Um, probably should have broken that out earlier to yeah. like, better. Oh, so you're thing. so you're like drumming to get its attention. Yeah, yeah. but I, I like remember too late. Um, it is annoyed with you when you mm -hmm. when you when it says that it, it roars at you with its disgusting mouth. Have you seen alligator? Have you seen their tongues? Their tongues are really weird. Yeah, they got like weird they're like like they're like ET fingers. Yeah, you know, it's like. And so you just get that and you get like the, the saliva breath like all on you as it's there. Um, but you're just out of reach and it, it's too lazy to move forward to to come at you. But it's it's threatening you, right? Like that's that's as much as a threat you're going to get to to like do not come any closer. Um, can. Oh, I mean, like, are you are you. Do you have any second plan, Waylon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm like, okay. The the brewery is probably it's probably gone. gone. It's crushed. Look at that. So <laughs> yeah, it's crushed. You see, um, like coming out of the wreckage, you see uh, a a I, I yeah, it's probably it's the most beautiful mouse you've ever seen. Uh, her name is Miss Flower, as she. <laughs> tumbles out of the the wreckage uh just barely okay being like ah, ah and she catches a, a flash of you um uh helping people and why she she runs away why didn't she leave when we told everyone to leave? Jeez. 
freaked out when maybe there's a giant dragon in town. It's not, it's really hard to act, act you know, they Is don't have dragon. Hanamor doesn't have like dragon drills. So yeah. maybe they shouldn't have built a big pond in the middle. I mean, it was why we built the town because it was, you know, you know, picturesque and shit. Yeah, Do we have another option or does the turtle just re- sounds really mad? I don't understand. Look, turtle. Rosie, you're okay. You're a baker or you know stuff about baking. Yeah. Do you yeah. have any idea what uh, these these big uh, turtle people eat by any chance? Like a big can I cake rack, or something. Can I rack my brain for what turtles like to eat? Uh, you could use a hunter. I can help you with that. I have hunters as yeah. well. Okay, I'm gonna. I would allow hunter or lore mouse in that in that case, depending I'm on how use... you describe the story of how you know it. Okay, I'm using hunter, um, and kind of also baker, maybe. Like I'm gonna just like, cause he's asking me from for my baker tips, right? And um. I have been many places in my time as a mouse guard. I have traveled through all of the provinces and every t- everywhere I go, I always stop at the local bakery and I eat their like local artisanal mouse bakery item. And every place I stop, I go into the little hunting lodge because, you know, that's usually where we stay as mouse guardi- guardians when we're mm-hmm. out and about. And like I've heard stories of like these impressive feats of of might, and there was one story I'm remembering. Like as we're trying to figure out what to do about this giant snapping turtle, this old wizened old mouse told me a really long time ago, and it's not super clear in my mind. But he told me the story, and I didn't believe it for a second at the time, of how he and his brother hoodwinked a snapping turtle to get it to um come and crush their rival's house because him and his brother were trying to get with these two twin mice and they really wanted them and they had a rival for her for their affection and so they crushed his house by luring a snapping turtle over and so i'm trying to remember this story that i heard a long time ago well that okay so what skill (laughs) what skill are you gunning for for that then i was i don't know i was Probably Baker, yeah, if that's okay. I don't know. Uh, that's more for the actual making of the food. Uh, I would allow, based on what you've said, I would allow Lore Mouse. I would allow Hunter. I have Hunter. I would also allow Archivist. Because uh, you, it's a story. I don't have Archivist. So Who's Hunter. Orator, Hunter. Since it's a story. Is that it is. A, I don't you're, have orator either. But what, mm-hmm. your intention here is to recall something that will ha- assist you. Yeah. In how, with they, this how they how right? they lured how they lured this creature. Yeah. So you're you're researching how a lore because that's because that's your intention. I don't think the action will be orator because your intention is not to convince a crowd or anything like that. Mm-hmm. How you're doing it is by thinking back on um, it's knowledge recall. So, so it I would think, have to be lore mouse. I think it's going to be lore mouse. Damn, if you don't okay. have lore mouse, you can do two different things. Um, okay. Remember, you can either try to do beginner's luck and start learning the skill, or you can do your nature. Remember, you can always you can always use uh, try your, using your nature in lieu of a role if you don't have a skill. Um. What would I beginner's luck for lore mouse? It would be will. Correct. And would I be able to? wager a uh, persona point to add my nature to it yes you could um and everyone else could help with their will or lore mouse if they have it because okay. since they're using will you help with will okay um, i'm gonna do that i'm gonna test i'm gonna test my will i'm gonna try sure. and go with lore mills mouse beginner's luck sure so Just... my will is three i'm gonna use a persona point to add my nature so that's seven and mm-hmm. then are you guys trying to help me yeah, yeah. i'll help with lore mouse okay so all I can do all I can do is help with Will, I think. Um if if I can't use Hunter. Yeah. Learning the skill you will half the total number of dice you're gonna roll. Okay, so what if it were nine dice, then what would my half be? Uh rounded down to four. Four? Okay. So I'm gonna just four. Then Okay. And this is actually against the creature's nature. Yeah. Okay, so you're rolling. 
Or is yep. there? Okay. <laughs> oh, you oh tied. Um, I got I got two sixes though. Yes. So you can you can so you can eat. So here's what happens when you roll a tie. Mm -hmm. um, there's two things that can happen, or three things you can happen. One, uh, we can let this devolve into a roll of nature versus nature, and whoever wins that roll gets one additional success, winning them the thing. Mm -hmm. Two, you can use one of your traits right now to uh, break the tie in the uh, in the Godzilla's favor and earn two checks for the player's turn by doing that. Um, or um, if you had it, if you had a level three trait, you could break the tie in your favor. A level or, three. Or, uh, or a fate point. Or a fate point. You can spend a fate I, point to reroll those six. I, I want to reroll the sixes. I okay. have two sixes. Um, oh, yeah. So, let's do that. So I'm going to reroll. So you spend a fate. Oh, I'm going to grab it from the right person. Ah, ha, ha. You got him one. Okay, so at least you got one more success Success, anyways. So you got it. Cool. Two more successes. Nice. Because I re-rolled. I, I, bust, I busted that and I exploded it, right? Hey. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. so I spend a lot of points, but I successfully recall um, how uh, the snapping turtle was lured to crush their rival's house, and that was a lore mouse test? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'll add that, I guess. So, you know, so there's a, I think there's a particular kind of berry um, that you mm -hmm. need. It's normally, it's it's not good to eat for mice. Like, it's just, mm -hmm. it's a bad thing. It's like a raw, you know, it's like a thing, like something, I don't want to say a rutabaga. Um, but it's, <laughs> it's you know, it's it's some kind of like weird, um, like, like a durian. You know, it's, I'm thinking like, like almost like a, like a durian, like a tiny mouse durian. Mm. That's a, It's disgustingly smelled. You know, it's like it's it's like just horrible to cook with. However, snapping turtles love them, right? Because oh, it smells like fish and that's their jam. So if you could somehow find this, turn that into a dish and lure them away, that's an option. Um, okay. Second, second of all, because you succeeded so well in trying to understand knowledge of this creature, I'm going to introduce this um, this this additional thing to you as well. Um, you know that sometimes snapping turtles, uh, it maybe just occurred to you now. Sometimes snapping turtles, they move to other places like soft soil places like this, like Hanamura, because mm -hmm. they're pregnant and they're going to lay eggs. No. That would be really bad. Yeah. So those are the two things. Okay. That was a good um, roll. That's what you learned. Yeah. So I I, uh, I rack my brain and I come up with this like, oh, no, I remember. And I tell this like really sh like this really drawn out story really quickly. And I'm just like the the old mouse. He said that th this this durian whatever fruit. Yeah. Um, is the snapping turtle's like absolute favorite thing, but we have to go get it and we have to get it quickly because I don't know how I know this, but I seem to recall that sometimes snapping turtles move to soft new what places so that they can lay eggs and that would destroy our town. We wouldn't be able to live. Yeah, here. that's that wouldn't be good. Um, where can we get this fruit? I don't know. Boy, yeah, it probably grows. Um, oh boy, yeah, it grows. It grows a, a little bit out there. Um, I would imagine. So if we cut over real quick to the map, we can do some stuff. Because so I have this. I don't think I've ever showed this fancy map on screen yet. Whenever it wants to load, there we go. So Hanamura. Wow. It's so fancy. Up here. That's where we're at. We're in cherry, not apricot. Yeah. Oh, shit. You're absolutely right. That's because we are... It's the same color. Hanamura is it's a coastal town. It's the same color. Shut up. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yes. So Hanamura is this coastal town. And then um, we have to go... It grows in these woods right here. That's pretty far. That is pretty far. So that's where we got to go. So I'll, oh. I'll draw a little disgusting purple fruit to show <laughs> that this is the thing that we need. So I guess um, we confer with, like, we we back off of the annoyed staffing turtle, right? We're like, okay, we have to do figure you? out. What, I mean, I don't know. We have to, are we going to figure out where this fruit is? Or are we going to try and do something else? Or 
Wait, Waylon, Waylon, Waylon. Could you maybe tell it to if it goes, we can bring it a thing? Like, make a deal? Um, Because if we bring it, and then it eats it, and then it stays here, it doesn't help. <laughs> I guess the brewery's already gone, so it can't get that much worse. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, it can get worse. It's my family's bakery. It's Oh, my God. Oh, uh, well, yeah, sure. Um, oh. So... This time I, I like go out in front with my drum and I try to like do like I'm just making this up. I'm not like trying to actually draw upon any expertise, but I try to like drum this like steady rhythm that's supposed to be more like attention grabbing um, that hopefully doesn't annoy it as much. I don't know if there's something you want me to roll for that. Um, what is your intention here? It's to like sort of approach closer to the point where like I have its attention in a like fixed manner. In order to do what? To s try to talk to it. And basically do what Rosie said and just be like, hey, can you? I want yeah. to be very that doesn't like... require That doesn't require a role yet. I just, I don't know what you want to do when you, maybe it comes to what you're, when you're talking to it. What you're... Yeah, I mean, this could just be flavor. Uh, Are you anyway, going to try to I... convince it to leave? No, I, I don't. I feel like that's not in the cards. But like, I'm just going to try to convince it to like, wait here because we've got something for you. Okay. That sort of thing. Um, Leave it. Sure. That is, that's a good idea. That happens, right? So we, we see you approaching. You already rolled the successful um, lore mouse to talk to it. Wait, right? wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Ash said try and like w w tell it we're going to get it something and have it like go away from here like as a as oh you're a, trying to secure a promise with it yeah right? we gotta make a deal yeah we're cutting a deal that you, if that, you give it was, a that was my thought anyway but yeah. ash is not good at any of this it's very much like uh okay i'm just gonna stand here with my sword out and hope wait, wait. It keeps anyone. all right so so here's what i'll do i basically go up to it with the intention of sort of laying out that plan and my plan b is to just be like or you could just stay here that's fine oh, okay so plan depending a. on its reaction yeah. <laughs> um if it even like registers anything that we're doing here um, yeah so yeah so either get it to deal with us that we're gonna bring you something if you just leave or just stay right there just just right directly there yeah that's plan b okay cool that sounds okay okay so if you wanted to secure to actually do so this will be a, a role Okay. Right. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to say it roars and you're just going to be, you don't know, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so let's so. try to convince this thing, right? Get your negotiating pants on, Waylon. <laughs> yeah. This isn't a convinced conflict. This is just a secu uh, to secure its honor, essentially, <laughs> to, to abide if you bring it to this, if you bake it this treat, it will leave. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is gonna be extra. This is gonna be very difficult. Um, let's see, but it does love these things. So um, this will be a versus test. You're going against its nature. I'm helping by the baking. That's I'm. What am I even using? Probably not to? very helpful. Yeah. This am, is not. Am I yeah. using lore mouse again here, or? No, this would be persuade. Right, you're gonna try oh. to persuade it to convince it. Okay. Unless you're lying to it, then it might be. No, no, no. I'm persuading. My persuade is is pretty good, actually. Okay. Okay. Um. And there's no ob because it's. Uh, um. I guess I have to have relevant help, right, for persuader. Yeah, persuader. I, I think I also have persuader. Do I have persuader? I do. I'm helping with persuader as well. I'm like, I'm like interjecting behind you, like, yeah, that, yeah, like, that's a good idea, Waylon. You're a smart person. This is very <laughs> persuasive. Awesome. Um, okay. Uh, Eric, did you add a zero into the form fields here? Yes, I did. So so it now. So it's automatic. Now... <laughs> yeah. That's oh awesome. shit! <laughs> yeah, nice work. Thanks. 
Ah, boy. It um, it roars at you. Um, it, in fact, if you don't move, it's going to like run you over. As it as it charges, like it 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 hisses at you as you are approaching it, like you you broke its comfort barrier, right? Okay. And so yeah. Now I, like, now it's, tumble it's aside. yeah. It gets precariously close to the bakery before settling down. Like it like hits the side of it and like it like shakes and stuff, but it's still intact. We have to. As it oh. as it proceeds to look around, you see its tail swing as it as it like turns over. It's like going right for the bakery, and then it stops moving and it shuts down like right next to it. Uh, a, yeah, chill goes down your spine. How, I mean, we. Gosh, the, the talking is not working. Nope, nope, talking is not you want, working. Yeah. No, Ash. No, that that's I don't suicide. think that's gonna. N- that won't work either. I think. Uh... We have to go try and get this fruit. We have to go. That's the only thing I can think of. We have to go and try and get this fruit and use the fruit to lure it away. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. All right. Um, I'm gonna go yeah. talk to him. I'm gonna go talk to the villagers and let them know that we're we're gonna try our best. But yeah, the maybe town's, the town's not safe right now. Maybe they'll know about somewhere closer. We might be able to find one. Maybe. I'm I'm winded right now. I I had to like sort of like tumble out of the way when uh, the the turtle was moving, mm-hmm. and yeah. again I had quite a few like steamed bun components uh, <laughs> throughout the day. So like I'm just like really feeling that right now, and so this is like a big chore. I think. <laughs> yeah, to get moving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not you know moving too quickly, but let's go. Okay. Yeah. So I think that um, I go back to wherever all the townspeople retreated to, like maybe a farther off like cottage of somebody's that's now like over. Yeah, they're on the edge of town. Yeah that's overrun with townsfolk and I try and find my parents and I say, okay, like you have to tell everybody that we're to, like, does anyone know where we can find this fruit? That's not like all the way off in that forest or why, why would you want that fruit? Cause I it's, it's, I mean, I heard that that's snapping turtles like it and we can use it to get the snapping turtles away. I, I heard a story one time. It's fine. Um, are you they're They're all like, are you sure? Don't leave us. No, you have to stop it. We get have, it out of here. We're trying. That's what just we're like, doing. Just don't go near it, please. Uh, just don't. And don't try to talk to it either. It's, yeah, doesn't it work. doesn't. It wasn't very happy about that. Um, we'll be right back. I swear. As soon as we can, we'll, we'll make a good time and then we'll get the snapping turtle off your hands. But like, this is the only thing that we know that can get it to go away before it lays eggs on our town and then i do like a whole like oh god and then i'm like no no no, we're gonna be productive (laughs) Um, i think there's a lot of resistance from the town being like no you can't leave no that's stupid just just fight this thing you can't leave us here what are you doing and then i think maybe your parents step in being like if rosie says this is the way this is the way and um they they look they look back at you being like this is the way right yeah, and my dad's like <laughs> he—he's a retired like mouse guard person, and so yeah. I'm like, thanks, dad. Like, and, oh, yeah. and I do the whole like you know, kiss him on the cheek, and then I'm like, all right, let's go. Like, yeah, cool. And I think at that we're gonna go to our first yeah, break, we- <laughs> and um, then we're gonna come back and and see what happens if we can fix this part. All right, okay. cool. So then we return. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in five minutes um, for for the return of issue number three, the uh, Dragon of Hanamura.